Vargas. We're recording live from the Vargas Mobile. Uh, my beautiful wife is driving. Uh, today we have a bunch of activities. We did, today we have to go to a meeting because tomorrow our little baby girl is going to start going to school. Uh, so they're going to give us a, I assume, a talk about, you know, uh, guidelines and stuff that we have to bring and all that, all that, yeah. And, um, supposedly it'll be like an hour, an hour and a half, give or take, so that's going to be fun. But, uh, after that, uh, I might go real quickly to a flea market. I'm going to go to a flea market and, uh, see what I find there. It's going to be kind of late, so I don't think I'm going to find anything that good, but... You know, I, I, I got the day off, and uh, it's there, so I'm going to do it. I just cut us off, but... Uh, so I'll see you in a bit. Hey there guys, so just finished uh, just finished the flea market hunt um, went ahead and uh, since I went alone I went and see and saw everything I saw everything every single spot that this flea market had I went through it um, and uh, I le literally left no corner unturned in my quest for things and uh, things I did fine not a lot not a lot um, while there were a lot of things to look at unfortunately um, most of that was was clothes uh, I don't I don't buy used clothes um, there were a lot of clothes I mean like a lot of clothes spots everyone was selling clothes but my problem has always been that I'm a kind of short and chunky so uh, it's kind of hard to shop but mostly women's clothes are oddly enough uh, here at the flea markets women's clothes are the things that are more common so yeah but I did find some stuff um, didn't find that many movies usually I do pretty good with movies this time didn't find that I, I found like four four movies so that wasn't as cool um, I, I found found two Star Wars stuff to share so that's gonna be cool um, what else uh, I found a wrestling thing that's gonna be awesome and found some stuff for my kid uh, I found a lot of stuff for my kid uh, could have bought more of course but uh, the good stuff was kind of expensive and uh yeah uh, people here know tend to know what they have especially if it's disney stuff if it's disney stuff they know they can charge a bit more for that so so yeah but i did find her uh, a couple of things that i hope she'll like um didn't find any video games that kind of bummed me out uh, i wish i would have found more video games uh, that that would have been better, uh, and there were, but they wanted a lot of money. That's that's a problem right now. That the retro stuff is really really expensive, uh, much more expensive than I think it needs to be. But but oh well. So I'm like five blocks from my home. Uh, the wife took the cars because she needed to go to work, and. Uh, she was going to take our daughter for a haircut, so uh, she took the car, and I felt adventurous. I I needed exercise, so I decided to walk all the way home. And it's a good, it's a good, it's a good bu bunch of. Uh, it, it's a long way from where the market ends 
and then went back to going home so but not that bad I need the exercise anyway and uh, it uh, the hunting kind of gives me the, the 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 strength to you know power through of course once I get home oh no, that's not true I, I need to get home and pay some bills but <laughs> uh, once I'm done paying the bills I'll, I'll just crash in my home uh, drink a nice tall glass of water um, and uh, watch some movies because I got the day off my wife's gonna work uh, my kids gonna be with me so we'll watch some movies so it's gonna be good but um, I'm gonna record uh, as soon as I finish paying the bills before I sit down to watch a movie I'm gonna go and record the haul for this hunt which not as big as I would have liked but still got some nice stuff so see you later guys Hey there guys, uh, this is Vargas, back from my flea market hunt experience. <sighs> tired, uh, really really tired. Uh, I've come to realize that I am really out of shape and I need to work out more because uh, yeah, I got tired real fast. Uh, after I recorded, uh, you know, me talking while as I was walking, I kind of overheated a bit, but uh, I'm back, I'm back home. Uh, my wife is still uh, at the beauty shop cutting our daughter's hair. So, whoa, what was that? So, um, I will use that time to record uh, this quick flea market pickup video. So, first off, first bag I got. Uh, I got a bag. So, uh, I want to buy a couple more dolls for my daughter. Because, uh, you know, I, I, I want her to be involved in uh, the geek world, but you know, she's a girl. I, I, she needs to have that too, I, I think. I want her to, uh, you know, co it, it, I want her to be her own person. Uh, but as a kid, uh, I do feel she needs a kid stuff. So uh, I bought for her this uh, Belle doll uh, from Beauty and the Beast, of course. Uh, it's it's not it's not plastic. It's actually like uh, fiber. It's very soft. So. No risk of her bonking her head, uh, and I think it's uh, she looks very pretty. So that's for my daughter. I also bought her uh, this uh, brave uh, like Barbie doll. This one is plastic, hard plastic. Uh, her hair needs a little uh, taken care of, but my daughter likes likes playing with dolls, which is uh, cool. Uh, and uh, you know. I want to get her. I want to introduce her to all of the Disney characters. Uh, this is Pixar, but she still appears on the Disney lineup, so the Disney Princess lineup. So, got that for her. I don't remember her name. Uh, my daughter loves these these little figures. They're uh, called little people, plastic figures. I I don't know what this is supposed to be, but uh, it's a little figure. That she likes because it's it's soft it's soft plastic so uh, she likes sometimes chewing that or playing with them. Uh, this is for her geek thing. I picked up a Princess Peach. Th this was part of a promotional thing uh, at McDonald's. Uh, I was only able to nab a Mario, uh, and that's it. But I got her Princess Peach, and on the background, I don't know if you can tell, but it it moves. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this thing moves as it goes along, so yay! So she's gonna like that because uh, she likes princesses, and that's Princess Peach. Also, she really, really liked the movie Sing, and I found her a Rosita figure. Let me see if I can figure out how this thing works. Oh, there you go. So yeah, she, she really really likes uh, the Sing movie, and especially this. I, I'm assuming it because it's because it reminds her of Peppa Pig, and this is a little piggy. But I got that for her, and uh, and it sings, which is uh, super awesome. And uh, like I said, two princesses. So uh, my daughter uh, got some nice nice stuff there. Okay, uh, what else we got here? Ah. 
Okay, so bag number two. This is for this is for me. Uh, it, uh, you might have noticed that I'm going, and I've mentioned this. I, I'm going through a wrestling kick. Uh, I haven't been able to find that many wrestling DVDs, unfortunately. I wish I could find some of the older stuff on DVD, but that's really, really hard to come by. Uh, and belts, I can find them new at Walmart, Target, uh, Toys R Us, and the, the like. Uh, but they're 20 bucks, 18 at Walmart. Um, and, you know, it's $18 that I need to use for groceries or, or comic books or... Uh, stuff for my daughter so it's not like I can just splurge 20 bucks uh, willy-nilly but uh, if I find them cheap and I thankfully I have been able to find them cheap and I found another one I found this one uh, really cheap and this is a the Mattel version of the WWE uh, spinner belt this one also spins it's a ridiculous I, I, I have no big problems with the belt. Um, obviously, it, it's John Cena's belt, so it looks better on John Cena. Uh, for example, when Triple H had this thing, it, it didn't fit him that good. Uh, a lot of people hate the spinner belt. I, I you know, I, I, it was the Attitude Era belt. No, it wasn't the Attitude Era. It's the, the, the Ruthless Aggression uh, Era belt. And I, I already have the Jack Specific belt, but this is the Mattel one. Uh, Mattel... Uh, has this uh, pleather kind of thing, but this one's different because it has, uh, it actually has like a uh, texture here, and uh, I, I think they're pretty much the same size, maybe I'll do a, a belt comparison, but there you go, a, the John Cena spinner belt, one more belt to the collection, uh, I still want the Universal, the Big Eagle, and one more uh, tag team, and the women's one for my daughter. Okay, let's save this one for last. Uh, bag number three. Got. I was thinking of giving this to my daughter, but I don't think she'll like it, and it's, and it's really hard. It's really hard plastic. So I think I'll save this one. But I found a T-Rex. It's the motherfucking T-Rex. T-Rex. Uh, it doesn't have the Jurassic park logo anywhere so I'm pretty sure it's not uh, Jurassic Park but it does very much look like uh, a Jurassic Park uh, T-Rex right there There's the face it looks a very very much like a Jurassic Park T-Rex so maybe it is um, I don't see any any uh, company thing describing what it is but uh, originally, I picked this up for my daughter because it's a dinosaur. Uh, but upon closer inspection, it's really hard plastic, so I think I'll I'll keep this safe for her until she grows up. But uh, personally, I I freaking love dinosaurs. Uh, dinosaurs themselves, I think they're are super cool. Uh, I I love Godzilla and uh, and big giant monsters, so this will be pretty cool. This will be a pretty cool display thing. I like how the, the mouth goes like Rah! Oh, the motherfucking T-Rex. T-Rex. If you don't want nostalgia, nostalgia critic, you, you know where that you probably won't know where that's from. Also found a Star Wars blaster. Uh, uh, other than that Star Lord blaster I picked up a while ago, I, have, I haven't been able to buy any Nerf guns. Uh, there ha I, I have seen Nerf guns, but I don't know if people come on that I'm buying them all up or uh, that they're popular, but I, I have seen a very, very big decline in the abil availability of Nerf Blasters and a really sharp increase on the prices. I could, I could, all the 150 Nerf Blasters that I have, I got them uh, for under a dollar. And uh, now the same uh, Blasters, I've seen them go for $10. So. There's been a huge, huge uh, increase in blasters, but this one I got cheap, uh, mostly because I think uh, the lady that had it, because uh, it doesn't shoot. I'm pulling the, gr the trigger, but nothing's coming out. So uh, I'm assuming it has some sort of dart lock, dart, dart lock, uh, and that's why it's not shooting. You have to put in the dart here for it to shoot. So I'm, I'm guessing that's why it's not shooting. Uh, but 
Uh, I'll try that out. But the reason I bought this is because it's Star Wars. I'll, I will pick up anything that has a Star Wars logo. But also because this is Chewbacca's uh, bowcaster. Uh, I, uh, let's see if I can find the date. It's 2014. 2014 Chewbacca bowcaster. So, yeah. It's uh, Chewbacca's bowcaster. Uh, it's cool. Um, I don't like the color, but uh, I can paint that somewhere down the line. Uh, I like it. I, I like crossbows, and I like Star Wars, and I like Nerf, so Chewbacca's crossbow. Hell yeah, I was gonna pick it up. And the very last bag that I have to share uh, has uh, some movies and books. Uh, I found this for a buck fifty. This is Star Wars Dark Disciple. A Star Wars book. Again, huge Star Wars fan. But this one has uh, the story uh, after uh, set after Clone Wars of a show. Uh, I can't pronounce her name. Um, her last name is Ventress. Uh, she was the bald chick with the double lightsabers that was helping Count Doku and uh, General Grievous in Clone Wars. And it also has the story of uh, this one Jedi who's his. Um, um, uh, Sage Ventress, uh, Kill and Boss. So this is uh, this is this supposedly details what happened to Ventress after Clone Wars. So Star Wars book, cheap hell yeah, sign me up. Thank you very much. Uh, picked up some movies. Uh, picked up uh, Rush Hour Two. I already have a copy of Rush Hour Two, but uh, it's starting to skip. It has a really uh, nasty little scratch that I was able to buffer and it worked fine, but uh, whenever it gets to a point, it starts skipping, and that kind of sucks. So I picked up another copy, a uh, minty copy of Rush Hour 2. Uh, this one looks different from the one I got, different cover, and it might even have uh, different special features. So I'm a huge special feature nut, so I, picked, I double dipped on Rush Hour 2. I, I really like that movie. Uh, then I picked up Bug. Starring Ashley Judd and General Saad himself, Michael Shannon. Uh, I haven't seen this one. I think I saw the trailer and it looked interesting. It's basically about this this guy that thinks uh, that he's overrun by bugs, and then he gets this Ashley Judd's character to think the same thing, and they're slowly going crazy. Uh, it sounds interesting. It says it's from the director of The Exorcist, so might be good. And I picked up uh, to the ever-increasing Disney collection, Mighty Joe Young. This is a remake of the 1930s uh, Mighty Joe Young, uh, starring uh, Charlize Theron and Bill Paxton. Uh, uh, Mighty Joe Young is, is uh, a, a guy in a suit, and it has some CG, uh, some camera work, so they make him look bigger. Uh, I remember watching this and liking it a lot. Uh, big King Kong fan, so I, I don't own the original 1930s version of Mighty Yo Young, but I have this one, and uh, this made by Disney, and was pretty cool. I remember it being pretty cool. Also, oops, dropped something, uh, picked up Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Uh, we already have the first Aladdin, Aladdin 2 Return of Jafar. We were missing this one to complete our Aladdin set. So yeah, Aladdin uh, complete. Disney collection is going on, uh, along very nicely. Uh, also picked up a CD from No Doubt. I like No Doubt. I have the, the single CD, but this one has other ones. Uh, when did this release? Uh, release, 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 release. Doesn't say. But No Doubt, no, no Doubt has pretty cool music. And uh, I'm going to pick that one. And the last thing. I, thought I, 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 I forgot about this guy is a little Comic-Con International exclusive figure, The Rock! With his Samoan tattoos, his uh, Brahma Bull, and the Comic-Con logo right there. So, uh, I, I think I have a Rey Mysterio uh, figure like this. Uh, this is Comic-Con 2012. Uh, I I know at the last Comic Con, uh, one of the last Comic Cons I went to, I, I nabbed a Rey Mysterio one, but I didn't know they released a Rock. So now I have the People's Champ. So this will definitely go well in my wrestling collection. So yeah, that was it. 
that was it. Uh, didn't pick up as much stuff as I would have liked. I would have liked to uh, buy more movies, of course, CDs. I would have loved to find another. Oh, there's my wife. Another uh, wrestling belt. But for what I got, I got good stuff. My wife's calling. She's probably already here. So uh, this is Vargas signing off from the Vargas Vault. Thanking you all and signing out.